Hello everyone, this is Robin and welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I'm happy that you're here with me. I have a really sweet project to share with you today. I'm using our sweet strawberry stamp set with the coordinating punch. I'll have the item codes as well as the description on my screen. Everything you see today in this video can be purchased directly on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com, and that's if you're in any, anywhere in the United States. Okay, so we're gonna just jump right in and get going. This is a quick card. We will be using the stamp and cut and emboss for a couple of the items on the card. So let's just go ahead and get started with that. So I have a little scrap piece of our basic white cardstock, and I'm going to put that on my stamp and cut and emboss and I'm using one of the frames from our, from one of the dies from our Stitched So Sweetly die set. And I'm going to run this through. And don't you like it when I just jump right in and I'm not as chatty as I normally am? <laughs> don't worry, I'm sure I'll still be chatty. Okay, so now we have our frame and that's all we need that die for. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this piece of Just Jade cardstock. This is from our In Color Collection 2020, 2020 to 2022. So this will be available for another year and a half, another year plus a couple months actually. This is cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to be using my favorite folder, the brick and mortar. As you can tell, it is very well loved. I use this on a lot of my projects. And also, if you have signed up for my online classes, you know I love to use it in my online classes as well. Okay, I'm gonna run this through. And that's all we need that for. So I can get that out of my way and finish up this project before my children come home from school. <laughs> that is my goal today to get some of these done. Okay, so we have that done, this done. I'm going to pull out our background. This is our grid paper, and I'm going to use it because I'm going to need, just in case I stamp off, I'm going to be grabbing this first. We'll start with that with our stamping. and just throw it on one of my blocks, and I'm using the Just Jade ink pad, and I'll ink this up. I like to press down, lift up, and then I twist it just a, just a little bit. And this is just going to be, let's see, I'm going to have this right here. Okay, set that stamp aside. We don't need that one anymore. And now I'm going to, I'll leave this open carefully. I'm sure that's a bad idea. You're saying, no, don't do that, Robin. <laughs> Every time you do that, and I know, I hear you, I'm just, going to keep moving on so I can get this one done quick. This is our uh, Ma Marvelous Magenta ink pad, and I'm going to use Hello There. I like this stamp. Well, I actually love this stamp set. It has, it has a thank you, happy birthday, just for you. It's very versatile. All right, let's grab the Hello There right here. I almost couldn't see it because I, I don't usually wear my glasses in my craft room, which I should. Don't tell my eye doctor. I'm supposed to be wearing them all the time. And this one's just going to be kind of up here. Hello there. And now I can set that aside. All right. Now on this other piece of basic white cardstock, we are going to be stamping our strawberry. Now, first I want you to look at the punch and it's important that you turn it over and you see where everything is going to line up so that you are not wasting cardstock. I'm going to waste a little bit here, but that's okay. So I'm going to make sure that my strawberry is upside down. Did you see that? So I'm going to start with the outline first. I have everything open up here. Not a good idea. You should always close your ink pads before you grab the next color. I am not doing what I say to do. Okay. I'm sure we'll all learn a lesson here on my video. Okay. I'm going to grab this outline and I'm using our tuxedo black. Now, if you remembered on the punch, it's going to be upside down. So it's important that you stamp this stamp upside down. Okay. And then also while I have the black, I'm going to be using the stem as well. I'm actually using all three of the, I'm using this one. Am I using the small one? 
It's the small one, and then I'm using the stem. Now, before I stamp these, I want to make sure that I look at my punch and I see where they're going to punch. Okay, so I'm using this. Now, I know there's other ways to do this. There's always better ways. Now, I'm going to stamp this in the corner, and it looks like it's going to work like that. And then and on this side, I'm going to stamp this one. So I want that to be upside down as well. Okay, you need to know all that, I promise. You'll, you'll thank me, maybe. <laughs> we will see. Okay, so that's all we need with our tuxedo black memento. I'm going to pull out the just jade again, and I'm going to grab the stem, but this time it's the more solid. Now this is a water color stamp, so it's not going to look solid completely. And I don't need the foam mat for this one as much because it's not a solid. It's got kind of a watercolor look. Isn't that so pretty? Now that's all I need the just jade, and I did good. I didn't accidentally stamp something I shouldn't. But the day is not over yet, don't worry. I could still do that. It'll be a bonus for you on this video. Remember the video where Robin was so excited that she didn't? And then she did, ha ha, what's so funny? Okay, we all got a good laugh. Yes, I know. Okay, so now this one, when you stamp it, remember part of it's going to look like it's not stamped. Now you can, for this stamp, you could use a foam mat underneath it to give you a little more of a cushion. I just kind of rubbed it with my fingers. Isn't this so beautiful? I love it. Let me grab the little flower next. And I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a little block. This is our block A. I'm gonna ink this up and I'm going to put it right on here. So cute. Okay, that's it. That's all of the stamping. Super easy. If you're new to paper crafting and stamping and you're thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could do that. Anyone can do it. It's so therapeutic, so fun. If you have other hobbies, it's great to add with those. Incorporate paper crafting, little homemade cards, tags. Okay, I'm going to punch that out and then I can save the other pieces for my scrap pile or for my kid box or maybe someday grandchild box. No announcements. I don't have, none of my married daughters are expecting yet. Don't worry, I'll let you know. You'll be the first to know. <laughs> I'm sure that's all I will talk about. Okay, so now it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, just remember that saying. It doesn't have to be perfect. Robin said, and it's true, I did say it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now you can save some of these scraps, just the ones that are full. The rest you can toss. Now I'm going to take just a glue dot Where's, where are my glue dots? Here they are. And I'm going to put one kind of to the bottom of the base of the stem. And I'm just going to stick it right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this card together. So I have this piece here, and this is just a little strip of our designer series paper. This is the in color. So every single, we have five color families. We have four color families, and then we have the two in color families. Every single family has its own designated designer series paper stack. And so this one is the in color, 20 to 22, 20 to 22. And this is cut at two by five and a quarter. Don't worry, I'll have everything on the screen. It's also at the end of the video, if you don't wanna write anything down. And it's also in the description. If you're watching this on my blog, you can also see it directly on my blog. Everything you need to know, okay. And then maybe some things you didn't even want to know. It's all there, don't worry. All right, so now I have, this is our card base. This is a piece of our thick basic white and it's four and a quarter by 11 inches. And I have it scored at five and a half. I like to, I like this size. I like the easel look. So it's kind of, it's going to be like an easel card just up like this. All right, now I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to slowly, sometimes the Seal Plus will pick up the fibers because it's so strong. This is our new Seal. We have, this is our new Seal Plus. We also have the Seal adhesive. Um, you could just get started with the Seal if you don't have any adhesive. I like the Seal Plus. I went for the mega, mega adhesive sticking, stickiness. Okay, now I'm going to put this on here. 
And so this is, like I said, a super simple, easy card. I'm going to grab my Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to add, I'll just go ahead and do three for my strawberry and then I'll, I think one will fit on this. Let's see, one will fit on that, a full size. Okay, take the backings off. So these are dimensionals and they raise up the image. So if you don't know what they are, maybe you've seen me talking about them. I'm gonna put this right here and this is going to go right here, just kind of in the midst of it. And then I'm going to take, this is these are our rhinestones and I'm going to grab our take your pick tool. This is a fun little tool because there's a spatula. You don't, if you're just getting started, you just you don't need the spatula. It's nice to have, it's nice to have all these little goodies. So I'm gonna add one there. And then I'm also going to add one on the stem. And then of course I'm, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm just adding them everywhere. Oh my goodness. I really, there we go. I only had four. So I had to stop at four. Don't worry. Now I'm going to take some of our foam adhesive strips. And I'm just going to, I like these strips because they're like our dimensionals. They're a little bit um, taller, but I like them when you're using bigger elements. And then also they're great for shaker cards. Okay, so now we have our strawberry card. And some of you also received this in the mail from me. I send all of my customers hand stamped thank you cards. And so some of you might open up your mailbox and see that. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You can find me, more of my project, weekly giveaways, and video tutorials directly on my website, mypinkstamper.com. And if you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. It makes my day, and I love to hear what you think, especially if you're a first-time visitor. Um, I'd love to welcome you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.